I didn't want to have to make this video. If anyone hasn't been paying attention, the season one launch of Multiverses is officially out after an hour long maintenance. I was busy making videos and over that time span during the maintenance, it was an hour long maintenance, they launched season one. And to be honest, guys, we need to stop the hype. It's it's disappointing. You know, I don't I don't understand how you launch a season your first season very uh very like like it feels like a deflating balloon like the the biggest metaphor or of this or or whatever it's called is you release a trailer for the character preview rotation but you don't release a trailer for season one what is happening at player first games right now guys and i get it we all love tony we all love these people but it's time to get real if any other game would have released their season one in this state they would be getting flack but for some reason everyone is just so excited and so hyped for a season one launch when in reality you can't even play wonder woman right now because her down air does 10 damage to her it's insane insane i was thinking oh well season one launch they'll launch with rank they'll you know they'll launch with a bunch of changes they'll may maybe launch with the little dungeon thing you know that was t that was that was leaked there's got to be something that keeps players engaged right something new something interesting a fr something fresh but you don't even release your ranked mode the number one thing to to fill out filter out the casual pool to the competitive pool the number one thing that lets new players play against not play against freaking pros in casual you got to have a place for your competitive players to go and it's like and then your character rotation is is lebron Arya, steven and batman and i oh my gosh dude and batman is unplayable not unplayable but useless and he's just gonna get stomped on the new players coming to this game are just gonna get absolutely dogged on lebron steven aria batman that's two three that four of the most out of all the characters that's three out of four of those are hard to play i don't understand why you even call the season one just delay season one a week and just make the balance patch today i don't understand i don't understand it's all I'm saying is season one you didn't even have a trailer all you have is a balance patch and a new character rotation and a new battle pass I get it player first money talks but there are more important things than just the battle pass right now make the game more deep if that makes sense it needs to be deeper i'm tired of playing surface level casual play i want to play ranked i want to try out these these dungeons with these modifiers i don't want to be looking at multiverse leaks for for well, shout out multiverse leaks for one month them telling me things that aren't going to come into the game for another six months and i get it you got a small team but just i i don't know maybe wb was pressuring them to release like this content at a, an alarming rate hey guys you gotta launch season one but it shouldn't have launched in this state i'm just gonna be honest it's it's a disappointing mess it's lacking i'm excited for the future of multiverses but i think if anything if you're a multiverses fan it's a perfect time to take a break and come back later because you can always do your season one challenges later i don't think there's anything interesting that's alluring new players to season one this is your most pivotal time listen to listen to me this is your most pivotal time to get in new players, keep your player base engaged, and keep them growing. Launching something called Season 1 when it's really just a battle battle pass and a balance patch. There's When a new season of something comes out, there's changes. There's something new. Something. There's a new map. There's a new character. There's a new mode. But instead... We have char characters getting shadow nerfed like Harley, who you can't even do her true combos anymore. So she's unusable, dude. I don't know. This is the extent of this video, really. It's just a complaint video. It's it's a 
it's a reaction video to the season one launch and me playing a couple games it's it's insane i can't even do true combos with harley anymore like what is your goal here and, and then and then oh you're gonna tease season one with black adam and stripe in the beginning of uh, when you boot up the game and it's like those characters aren't coming for another two months dude why tease them now i just i just don't understand you should have just delayed season one a week i get it you're on a you're being told by corporation to do these things i know you have a love for creating this game the rewards in the battle pass are awesome let's just be clear that i think the rewards in the battle pass are awesome but you also miss the opportunity to put Gleemium in your battle pass so people who can maybe only spend 10 bucks or younger people who can only spend 10 bucks once, they can grind it out and continue playing. You're not prioritizing casual and competitive, you're just prioritizing competitive balance patching right now, which is fine. But you need to check check your audience. You have a lot of new people coming in, and you're just you're sweeping them under the rug, and it's gonna push them away from the game. If I was a new player right now, and I played against someone who decided they wanted to play a level one Steven, even though they have a level twenty bugs bunny, and they ace me on Steven, I'm turning off the game. I'm not playing it. I don't care about that battle pass. I don't care about playing against AI. I care about interesting and engaging content and dynamics and things to help me grow and get better as a player. I'm new to platform fighters, and so coming into the season one, I'm expecting a bunch of a bunch of changes and a bunch of different things, and it's something unique when I boot up the game. All there is is the battle pass. You couldn't even open up the store or the, the I guess it's the clan feature or something. Why even have those options there? Why? It's just insane. It's just insane. Guys, I want player first to do better uh and i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm not gonna be fake it's lacking it's not entirely disappointing but it's it's lacking it's not uh at all what i would have anticipated they're spreading it across the weeks because the content just isn't ready and that's why you got a bunch of broken stuff in this new season update and it's gonna be the same with morty it's gonna be the same with rick it's gonna be the stripe and black adam can't even be close to done there's no way but there's beetlejuice and wizard witch wicked witch of the west voice lines like prioritize these things you should be focused on just getting morty out you should be just focused on making sure there's a good balance you should be focused on at least making a trailer to hype up people that's it guys what do you guys think they can do better how do they fix this how do they turn it around I don't think the game's in a dire state. I think the game is going to be just fine. I think the game has competitive legs. I think it's going to keep walking. I think it's going to be great. But this is the time to recruit your new players and keep them engaged. And you failed. You cannot fix this beyond that. You ha we People will come in next week, maybe. But you could have gotten tons of more people in this week. And I don't think it worked. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Am I being too strict? Am I being too nice? I just, I'm not wearing the blinders anymore, guys. I'm seeing this for what it is. The hype's gone, and now it's the game. If any other game would have launched season one in the state, they'd be crucified. Apex Legends had it on their season one. Halo Infinite had it on their season one. So, let me know what you guys think. Peace out. Bye.